Hi, welcome back. Hope everyone is well. Um, we got our other auction lots today, haven't we? But first, I think we um, we owe you an apology and an explanation as to what we've been doing, where we've been. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry about that, everybody. We had no um, no choice but to take a break. You're joking. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly, I can't stand this. It's just been one of these things with the, we've harped on about it in our videos for so long about we decorating. Have. Yeah. And we're both full time doing eBay. We spend 95% um, of our week doing it and getting odd um, hours here and there was just not moving it along quick enough. So That's it though, so we, we've spent, we had to crack on with it. We spent we? the whole month now <laughs> decorating and breaking news, we have actually finished. Yay. Woo! <laughs> so without further ado, we're yep, gonna bring you these auction lot videos from um, this end is of the February. Last one. Yeah, end of it February. It was the two lots. Do you remember that far back? <laughs> so yeah, so this is the second, the, the second, the third video. Um, I think it is. Yes, it's the last two lots to see what we bought in that recent, not so recent auction. So I hope you enjoy. Final two lots. Yes, one of them is the Wicker lot. So I'm very excited. Very. So much so. Oh, can I point yeah. it out there? You got a Wicker Woman badge. I yeah. don't know if that's Woo! Sure. Wearing it a pride. <laughs> Yes, it's got the wicker lot. What I, what, what I got? That's good English, isn't it? What I got, is what the I got lot. from the auction. <laughs> Let's put my posh voice on for the videos. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so we're going to go through that, and we're going to go through the lot you got, hun, the Yamaha receiver. Yes. Woo! I wonder if it's working. Yeah, I know. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we have here lot. Five four two. That's right. We yeah. bid ten pound. We were lucky enough to win it for ten pound. Ten pound. Woo! I think we I had. Ones like that, don't we? I think I had twenty pound. I think I was going to go up to twenty pound. So oh. uh, I know bonus. <laughs> um, with the fees, it can do thirteen pound twenty five. So not wow. too bad. They've just gone up a bit, haven't they? Yeah, they have a little um, bit. But not much. Pound down, hun. Let let me see what I've what I've got. This is the reason I bought it, hun. This lot mainly for this gorgeous. Um, wicker basket. It's not interesting. The rest basket. of the pack. No, no, that's it. <laughs> but look at all. Is that bottles of wine in it? it must take, I think so. It? Yeah. yeah, we should perhaps try it out, hun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, look, it takes two bottles of wine. But pan well. around to all the other the tack we're now saddled with because I fell in love with that yeah, basket. I, know. Look down there, um, but... I don't know anything about what are they? Are they um, tennis rackets or squash yeah, rackets? Squash rackets or oh, things like that. I don't like know. That, what have so... I done, hun? What have I done? I know. So well, let's have a look because in the auction, I think we we saw these. Um, oh, yes. I don't know. If... Are they early? They looks like are they early? Can we balls? test those? I suppose they're we normal doodle. Yeah, yeah. We can okay. Test them. Are they plastic? So yeah, they're high LED... quality plastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um. Yeah. Oh, they're cool. Oh, some. See, I'm more interested in the bulbs. <laughs> oh, that's a very <laughs> yeah. You are. Fossils. Look, but do you remember in the auction we were laughing, weren't we? Because there was some fossils. There was a box of old oh, yeah, like, fossils. Right. I, that's fallen in I forgot there, to look to see what. Um, I wonder the same no, person what they went for. So let's yeah. scoot the amazing thing up over there and um, let's see what we've got. So I'm going to say that's a tennis racket. Yeah, that's an older tennis racket, is it? So. Um, hmm. That's quite cool. Oh no, we've never done well with records, especially we ones that've been kept outside. Um, yeah. Because they've been outside, you don't know how long they've been outside. I can feel they they don't feel, feel good. No, they feel very binnable. So we'll have they to have a look. Like they've been a bit damp. Don't they? <laughs> Ooh, oh, I'm gonna so. have to wash my hands in a minute. That um, electronic. Um, yeah, it looks like it is. Chess yeah. set. Oh, it's well, computers. Yeah. Okay, so um, for... I wonder if it's one of those ones where you can play against the computer. Oh, look, hun, there's a few bits that you're going to be interested Yay. in. That's that, that little, little TV. TV. Wow. Is that going to be from the 80s? Looks a bit 80s, doesn't it? Oh, Fred Astaire. Look, oh, that would have been new look, but oh. it's all oh, a bit manky. What's this then? Oh, Star Wars? Star Wars. Is it a book or something? History of Persuasive Art in the Galaxy. Oh. Okay. It's not, doesn't feel too bad. Oh, I've got to put my hand in there now. Oh, oh a big lump of wood. Oh, it's a giraffe. Okay. Unusual, isn't it? You get some random tap though, don't you, at an auction? You do. Mount Batten. Oh, okay. that needs a clean. Um, oh. Ooh, don't put that near your face. <laughs> <laughs> How 
have some fun with that later, huh? We can pretend we're going to like a, a, ball. a, a ball or a masquerade party. <laughs> oh, some other books in here, but they all feel a little bit... Yeah, okay. Well, they might be all right. You don't never know, do you? Some mouldy packaging. Lovely. Yeah, it looks like they got a bit wet, haven't they? Yeah, and some coins. Oh, okay. That probably would have been okay. They would have been in that mouldy packaging, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Souvenir so, coins. Looks oh, like there's something else in there. Oh, for sure. England squad. Okay. Oh, okay. Something to look into, isn't it? It is. Oh, my hands. So I'll move that so box that's out, move of the that way. out of the way. Yeah. So oh, then we've got, got a clock. Quite lightweight. Nice though. I like grey. Oh, oh, should it do that? Okay, no. I think um, I think the... It's short, is it? <laughs> no, you can replace the mechanism. It's not, yeah. a, not a big issue if you you know you like the clock. And uh, you never know, it might be worth something. Move the glasses so out of the way. what else have we got? Oh, we've got these... Rackets. That's, that looks squashy, that looks squash that. racket. That does. Cricket. You wouldn't believe it, but I used to play a little bit of squash <coughs> many, many, many years ago, and uh, yeah, you wouldn't think it was my size now. <laughs> That's um. That's a tennis racket. They will look a little. Oh, look! Yeah, I've got yellow I, hands oh, now. God, I don't want to touch that. Oh goodness me, hun! What, what have you done? Buying all this me. tat. <laughs> okay. That looks another. Oh, there's no strings. <laughs> Well, you never know. Some of this might be worth something. Um, there's a few of them, I'm just going to get them all out. Yeah. because um, I'm, I'm a bit concerned that all of these manky items are on our dining room table. I know, now. I'm going to have to hose everything <laughs> down. That looks nice. Look, look at that, it's an old one. Yeah, That's cute. Cool, isn't hmm. Oh, we've got some so that's to do with cricket crickets. things. Yeah. Looks like there's a pair, so that might be worth something. Oh, my goodness me, look at my oh, hand. I've got no. a blue hand now, hun. <laughs> I'm feeling very unclean. Oh. Oh, it's a teeny tiny one. Oh. Yeah. Is that empty? No, there's some more manky stuff in it. There's a, there's a manky football. An old ball. <laughs> an old tennis ball. <laughs> Yeah. It's getting manky as I'm going in there, hun. Okay. Did, did you want to empty it or do you want to show the bottom of the bag rather than emptying it? So show the bottom of the bag. Yeah, because um, it's, uh, what else is there? Other balls. Load of balls. Um, oh, I don't even want to ask what that is, hun. But it... That's that. Uh, oh, oh no, I don't want to, I don't want to touch that, hun. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, what's this metal thing? Oh. Oh. Where are we? Something to do with... Football, Liverpool mm. football, that might be all right if we can bend it back. That might but, be worth three yeah, quid. I don't think there's anything worth <laughs> no. getting out in there. It's, it's I don't knee think pads, so. Other pads yeah. and um, balls. So, <laughs> yes, I think. Um, well, what do you think then? <laughs> yeah, what do you think? What 13 you pounds something, that's not bad, is it? But look at the state of my hands. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, don't touch anything. No, no, don't yeah, touch anything. Yeah, £13, what was it? £13.25. So what do you think? Did um, Would you have bought this tat? Um, yeah, yeah, let us know. Would you have bought it or would you have run a mile? Again, I got swayed by the basket. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have to keep an eye on you now. I know. It's that badge. It's, it's the badge. badge. <laughs> <laughs> so now we need to move on to the lot you got, hun, which is the Yamaha receiver. Yeah, I've got a feeling mine might be a little bit cleaner. Yeah, I need to move all this tat off the table. Yeah, we'll so let's that get we can... this sorted. <laughs> yeah. So here we go with my lot. Yes, we've hand sanitised ourselves and the table, haven't we, from the previous lot, and now yeah. it's over to what you've picked up. Yep, yeah, I'm... Uh, like I say, I didn't really do a lot of research. I know that some receivers, they can be... Worth a bit of money, so I thought it's worth worth a punt. Yeah, I googled um, it, hun, just to, to you know see there was some value in it. Yeah, so yeah. Um, fingers crossed, you've done all right. Yep. Yeah, so this is a Yamaha receiver, uh, RXV five seven three, and um, it didn't just come with the receiver. There's also a box here with some bits in. Um, we got the manual. Looks like well, that's heavy. Yeah. Um, so looks like a subwoofer and other speakers. What I might do. Because uh, Marie's not going to be able to lift that out. Well, I'll do it. I'll get it out of the box. And, yeah. Um, yeah. And show That's you a good fully. idea. So we go. All unboxed. So, yeah. So we got the um, Yamaha receiver and looks like Cambridge 
audio speaker system. So we've got the sub there, active sub, and the center speaker, and um, four surround speakers. So yeah, so um, hopefully we're going to do all right with this. Um, potentially, we might be selling them separately. Because um, originally, I, I would have thought the receiver would have been sold on its own. Yeah, I don't know, um, my love. I've got, so, I've got no idea when it comes to this sort of thing. So these all this set is all one set here, is it? And then yeah. that's a different set. Yeah, that, that right. links up to that. And, um, yeah, so I think, um, yeah, looks like we got the manual for the speakers for, as well as the... And is this the manual for the... Well, that's all right, then. If you've got the manual, that's half manual the battle the sometimes. Receiver. We're going to have to use it and... Yeah. Always helps sell it, doesn't it, if you've got the manual? It does. So I know it's only sort of one item, but potentially we might be splitting it into two listings. So we'll um, we'll have a look and see what the value is. So we've had a look at the prices, haven't we? We have, and we, um, we're coming to you from a very wet yeah. and windy day in <coughs> April. In the future. In, in the, the future, future. <laughs> yes. But we thought we would... We like to show... Um, what we've sort of listed them for, um, mainly is sort of evidence that we have actually cracked on listed oh, them we all. we have done it, yeah. We've, nothing's it. gone on our shelf. We've got a new policy, haven't we, here, that um, we have. nothing goes in the garage. It gets dealt with. It gets listed within a, a day or two, and that's that. We're trying to um, start a new habit, aren't we, of not stockpiling stuff. Yes, that's it. So let's crack on with this um, first one, which you can see, which is the Wicker Picnic Basket. This is the reason I bought this lot. So it's lot 542. Um, we paid £10 plus fee, so it was £13.25. We've made nine listings out of it, which means each item is £1.47 per listing. That's fantastic. Yes, it probably is a little bit high hand, £44.99, but it is so gorgeous and um, I just can't help it. I love it. I think it's because I want to keep it, but I know I'll never use it. So um, I've oh, listed no. it and we'll see, we'll see, see what, what happens. happens. Yeah, that's it. Now, the next item might divide opinion a bit here because it's a, it's essentially a chunk of wood that someone's <laughs> carved a giraffe into. And I've gone a little bit um, leery with it at 18 99 It may never, ever sell, but you've got to give these things a sort of try, sort of mid-century. It's, it's quite got nice, that, though. Yeah, it's... it's got that sort of retro vibe to it, mm. so we're giving it a go. Then we're moving on to this Star Wars propaganda book. Fourteen ninety nine, hun. Mm. Give it a go for that. I don't really know a lot about Star Wars, but um, it no, can be me quite popular. Really, but yeah, it can Prices be, are so. quite strong, so we'll see. So we'll see what happens with that. Then we've got these squash rackets. I mean, oh, well, why did I buy a lot with a load of rackets? <laughs> I have learned a lot about rackets, though, so that's quite good. I know the quite difference. Quite long, aren't they? I know the difference between a squash, <laughs> a tennis, and a racquetball racket now. So mm. I have gained some sort of knowledge. Um, we put these two together for twenty four ninety nine. Now we've got this squash racket here, hun, which has sold. It sold on the twenty third of February. We put it up for twelve ninety nine, and um, it sold for ten pounds. It must have gone on offer or something. Yeah, yeah, more than likely they might have uh, sent an offer through, um, and for two ninety nine less. Really well, we're happy with that. We're happy aren't we? with it. Yeah, definitely. Then we've got this racquetball racket um, that we've got listed for twenty two ninety nine. It hasn't sold yet, hun, but it's coming up to that season where someone might be interested. Um, then we've got these two Wilson tennis rackets. Now, the, one of the things you might see in some of the pictures is that the um, the handles were a bit naff. Yes, some of they them were. were spongy. Most of them, yeah, yeah. And they need need re um felt re, 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 -tape, re, -taping. re -taping. Now, word of warning to anyone: if you're going to buy any tennis rackets, um. Don't lean them against a white wall, especially if they're blue, <laughs> because what you'll end up with is a blue wall. So luckily we were decorating them because <laughs> well, yeah. some idiot had put the tennis racket <laughs> against the wall and it ended up being blue. But there you go. So I did um, take all that off and these tennis rackets went up for twenty two ninety nine. They sold on the 23rd of March for £16.09, p, which is an odd That's amount. Is that the sale? sale price, I believe, yes. So we were quite pleased because the only reason I bought this lot was for the wicker basket. It hasn't sold, but we've had some luck we've with had, tennis yeah, rackets. Exactly, I know. So there you the, go, it's a yeah, lesson we, to we, be learned. If it was just tennis, rack, tennis rackets in the lot, we wouldn't have bought it. No, I wouldn't have been interested, no. but... Um, <laughs> There you go. And now we've got another two tennis rackets that also went up for twenty two ninety nine. They sold on the twenty fifth of March and they sold also in the sale for sixteen pounds and nine P. And just to remind you all, each of these listings cost one pound forty seven. So at this mm. point we were quite chuffed, weren't we? We were, yeah. Um, and we've learned a bit about tennis rackets. 
So the, the next one is these vintage Greys of Cambridge um, tennis rackets. They went up for 19.99. They sold, um, they were the first to sell on the 7th of March for £17. So we were chuffed about that. Yeah, so that probably would have been an offer um, either sent out or um, a customer. And I think, just... if I remember rightly, one of them didn't even have any strings. No, but I think that's they're the right. sort of yeah, thing there's... you stick on a wall. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Vintage, they look lovely. That's it. Now, the next thing we're going to show you, you didn't even see in the video, because if you remember, um, well, you've just probably watched it, but there was the, the, the cup thing in the bag. Um, you know, like when you play cricket, it covers your, your oh, gentleman's yeah, yeah. area, <laughs> shall we say. Um, and in the video, I didn't even want to touch it. But when, um, when I got brave and emptied the bag, underneath that was this David Bowie cassette tape. We've sold cassette tapes in the past. Mm. They don't normally go that well, so... Um, Anyway, we looked at it, nine ninety nine, and it sold really quickly. So yeah. um, it went for full price, hun. Fantastic. Twenty <laughs> fifth of February, it sold really quickly as well. So we were really chuffed about that. So to recap on this lot, um, what do you think? Leave us a comment. Um, would you have, would you have got it just because you liked one thing? Um, what can you say? I mean, you, you I sort of have to. You, you get an insight now as to what what it's like for me. Yes. When Marie Marie <laughs> likes one thing and a lot, and I think, oh, you got to put up all those tennis rackets. You love wrapping those yeah, as well, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so the the whole lot cost thirteen pounds and twenty five p. We managed to to make um, the all those listings with it, and the sales so far have been £67 and 17p. The total listing value, hun, I've jumped in there. Jumped in but there. Two, was that 250 It's scribbled a bit it there, isn't it? It is scribbled a bit. £215.90. Don't tell pence. anyone, but I may have got the maths wrong to start with, so I've scribbled it out, but don't okay. tell anyone. All right, I won't. So now um, you've seen what a Wally um, is like when she buys a whole lot because she likes one thing. Now you're going to see an absolute legend because this is the lot that Paul bought. Now, many of you... And um, we'll think that I do most of the buying um, and and I do it in a bit of a frenzied way. But Paul um, has quite a lot of knowledge on um, electro, well, electronic sort of items. Well, I say quite a lot of knowledge. Sort of I don't know about a lot of knowledge, but well, you some, are. some you knowledge. Paul's playing it down. He's a legend. Um, so we're going to move on to the lot that Paul bought. Now, this is lot 307, and it was mainly because there was a Yamaha receiver mm. in that lot. Yeah. So you paid £28 plus fees, and that come to £37. Pounds and six p. I haven't worked out what it costs totally. I've got a blank space, hun. I should yeah. have written in there what it would have been. <laughs> Perhaps you can have a look on your calculator. I could. How many? How many? Um, items? we've made it into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven listings. We made that into. So it's five pound twenty nine per listing. I think five thirty then. But we'll just round it up. Let's go yeah, mad. There you go. So, um, as I say, Paul doesn't, you don't see Paul buying a lot um, in a lot of these videos, but he does have knowledge of things like this, and uh, you've played a blinder here, because this Yamaha receiver that we're flashing up now um, is an RX V573. We had done some um, research before the auction, yes. hadn't we? So we, yeah, knew we, roughly have, we knew roughly what it was going to sell yeah. for, and um, we put it up for one hundred and twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine p. And I think we should do an Eiffel Tower, hun. Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it sold for full price. Yay! <laughs> that was on the twenty-fifth of February, so we were very happy. And just want to give a shout out to Mike, who um, is a local man who goes to these auctions. He couldn't, unfortunately, go to this auction, but he did leave us a comment saying that he thought we would do well with that. And you're right, Mike. You were, you're very right. <laughs> yes, we were very chuffed with that. Um, so then we're going to move on to the Cambridge Audio Minx X300. Yep. Look at me trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about. Well, this went up for £149.99. Now, when you were buying this lot or bidding, I didn't even know that was in it. I thought it was just a well, receiver. Well, you, yeah, I knew there was something else in it. I didn't really look into it thoroughly. No. Um, and, um, yeah, um, so it was, it was a nice, nice surprise. We were surprise. pleasantly surprised, We were very, we? very pleasantly surprised, I must admit. And we were also surprised on the 23rd of February when this also sold for full price. It did. So um, the uh, thing with all this is what we did. It comes as a set. Yes. Um, and it's a surround sound system. 
um, but we decided to uh, split it up, didn't we? Yes, we did look into it and um, there was a Min 21 um, that we put up for 49.99. There was yeah. more value split up. There was a lot more value splitting up than selling it as, a, as, a, as one piece. But this sold on the 2nd of March for £45, so we were proper chuffed, weren't we? Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Then we move on to the... We had four of these Min 11s, so the first one sold on... Well, let me just clarify, we, we put them up for £34.99. We Jumping did. ahead of myself there. I know, I know. It's because I know at the end of this recording we will be getting a coffee. And coffee, yes, exactly, yeah. <laughs> so the first one sold on the 17th of March for £27.99. Yeah. So we don't mind um, taking a little bit less, do we? Because no, we, no, um, they, they cost so such a small amount in the, in the first place. The um, On the 22nd of March, we were lucky enough to sell two of them. Someone bought two together. Yeah, someone sent an offer through, I think, didn't they? That's and it. Um, bought two. £46 we took on those, so we were yep. quite chuffed about that. And then the final one sold for £23.27 on the 27th of March. So the total um, spend for this lot was £37.6p. and we created seven listings out of that, and yep. um, this is one of the few times we can actually tell you in our in our video that everything has sold. Yes. Woo! Hey. Um, <laughs> so the sales on this one, hun, this is what they sold for. Sold for, so £417.24. That so is fantastic. That is fantastic. For £37.6p. Yeah, when we, when, um, we make the video, I, I, I write it all out, and what... We normally do is tell you what we were going to list them for. So the the listing value um, originally was four hundred and sixty four pound ninety three. Um, the sales for this lot were four hundred and seventeen twenty four. So you can see we have come down. We do like to take offers. We're trying oh, yeah, to generate yeah. as much income as we possible. Always, so we, we're flexible, into, aren't we? Things go into sales and things like that. And yeah, so we we're always flexible. Yeah, so not everything sells at full price. No, that's it. And we're you know yeah. we, we expect that, don't we? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But what you're going to have coming up in the video now is um, two people that filmed back in February who aren't that excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this outro, this outro. Yeah, we, we, don't, we, don't, look, we don't look excited. Um, but, um, but obviously we, have, we haven't sold anything. No, we do, but we just... bear in mind, we'd, all we'd done is we'd come back from the auction, we'd lugged all the heavy stuff in, we'd done it on the table, so we were in dire need of coffee. Yep. So um, when you cut to that a bit in a minute, just bear that in mind when we're looking a little bit disinterested in it all. Um, but... Again, we're sorry this video's come to you so late, but regular um, content will be coming. We'll be resuming. And next week, we've got a very exciting episode for you because we're going to be doing a bit of a general recap um, mm. on life here this year at Ems Den headquarters. Yes. I bet you can't wait. <laughs> so what were your thoughts? Yes, let us know in the comments below. Would you have picked up these items? Yeah, um, you know, I think it's all right. Yes. We've had fun, haven't we, as well? Yeah. <laughs> We're just about to have lunch, so that's even, <laughs> even, even better. Even better. Lunch, <laughs> coffee. Yeah, you know, what a great things. day. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. And, um, yeah, please do um, click the subscribe button. It's free. And click the thumbs up as well. That would be great if you could. Thanks and, uh, for yeah. all your support. Mm. And your support, honey. And you. And you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, talking over each other now. <laughs> no, it's because we're eager to have lunch. Yeah. That's what it is. But as always, thanks so much, and um, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.